Welcome back, welcome back. What up, what up, what up? We back here playing a little NBA 2K. I don't know why I said 2K. Listen, NBA Jam TE. But the T that's what it was. The TE was yeah. like, you know, I I felt the same way, trust me. Don't feel bad. Uh, what are we doing? That Kevin Willis and Mookie Blaylock. That isn't I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> that is definitely a questionable. Ooh, Calvert Chaney, Chris Webber, though. That is kind of fire. Yeah, I thought you might want to pick them. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> no, that's a that's yeah. that is the uh, that is the unsung team of the '90s. Is the uh, Charlotte Hornets? I knew plenty of people who didn't know basketball for real. That they knew, they knew Grandma Ma. They knew the Hornets. It was my brother's favorite team growing up. Hey. He was not, he didn't like Seattle. He liked Charlotte. Really? Yeah, but he was also born in Charlotte. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Got home teams anyway. What's it like being born in a, in a, in a place that uh, has a pro team? <laughs> it was nice. God, Lee, I'm like, you have to relearn the buttons again? <laughs> the Jordan stopper. They used to call Calvert Chaney that. <laughs> but they didn't tell Calvert Chaney that. Or, no, Calvert Chaney would tell people that, but then they didn't tell Jordan that because he would still just put, like, 40. Right. Ah! Oh, you got Grandma Ma. Yeah, yeah. I was a Muggsy Bogues player. Uh, I too, I wanted to play, but I keep. Oh, you just press start. I keep <laughs> flipping which one I'm supposed to be. And I keep not jamming it. Why would you shoot that? Just like me trying to go. I thought I was going to take off from the free throw line. Oh, you going to stun him with the front flip? Uh -huh. Okay, okay, that's how it's going to be. All right, so we were saying the Dallas had no defense, right? They don't. <laughs> Good gosh. Um. Do you think Kyrie stays past? Yeah, come on. Bugsy Bugs was tripping trying to do that on Chris Webber. We went under <laughs> the goal, so it don't count. Uh, do you think they, they do anything? Like, what do you where do you see them making it realistically this postseason? Wide open. <sighs> I don't know, man. That's Yeah, I've seen. Yeah. The West got so stacked with all this the trades that I, I don't I don't I don't think they make it past. I don't think they make it to the Western Conference Finals. They, like I just know that Lucas is so good by himself yeah. that I could see them getting past the first. Well, round. and what they did tonight was impressive. Yes. Um, they basically willed their way back to to making it a game. They ultimately lost, but they made it to where they had a chance. Yeah, they, I mean they. In a game that didn't look like they were going to be in for three quarters in the fourth quarter, all of a sudden they made it a game. Oh, I knew he was going to do that to me. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, I almost had it again. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, the greatest thing was to do those dunks. And then as I got older, the greatest thing is to block those yep. dunks. <laughs> like I timed you perfectly. Oh, oh he almost got it off. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the game was just a bunch of last second plays. It would be so much fun. <laughs> Uh, no, dude, I, I think you're right. I think it's going to be super hard to play seven games, like to win four out of seven games against those teams. And Kyrie did it. He's the only reason that Durant came over to Phoenix. Yeah, yeah, he's not he's not in the West if he's not there. Oh, that's a terrible three-man rotation. I feel like we should have had somebody else. We didn't have Jawan Howard yet? Actually, no, we don't. That's next year. Uh, this is an awful team. That's Kyle's. I'll play Cal Pacini. I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not playing Scott Skiles. Phoenix. I mean, uh, Orlando Scott Skiles. Yes, not not Washington Scott Skiles. He's out. Get in his face. Is there anybody we feel like like is going to be considerably worse on in the West? In the West? Yeah. Like obviously, Houston just took on contracts and stuff because they they're done. Like they're not. They're not playing for anything important. No. I don't think anybody really got worse. Which is which is wild, right? What the fuck just happened? Because I was getting ready to go up on y'all. Yeah. It's a little scoop, little, you know what I'm saying? A little scoopy action, little George Gervin. From um I I feel like Utah's worse than what, what they were. Um, giving up, Van especially giving up Vanderbilt and um, Beasley. You said Utah. You feel like it's worse. Yeah, they, they did beat the Pacers in a hard game. They today. did. I think they can figure it out. It's gonna be that, tough though. But it's gonna be it's gonna be harder than what it was two weeks ago. 
Defense is impeccable. Ouch. <laughs> Calvin Chaney's got heart, though. You know what, Larry Johnson? <laughs> killing me. <laughs> He's out here. We got a weak link. Oh, maybe I'm killing us, too. Yeah, I just I think it's gonna be really hard for them to do anything. Um, I think they're gonna make it to the playoffs, obviously. And Utah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think just, I think this year they really have like one of the things we talked about while we were watching the game today is it sometimes they're not getting they're not getting marketing in, in, involved. That's immediately. yeah, that's a huge problem. Like there are times where it feels like people are actively dribbling away from him, and it's like. You know, that could be something that the coach is trying to do to get, like, attention off and things like that. But also, it just looks – it looks really weird when you have a guy who, at any given time, no, is, is – Don't shoot that. Oh, you got the rebound? Ah, oh, because I'm Muggsy Bogues and I can jump over you. It's in there, though. Ah. Yeah, it was really – it's really weird. And I – and then it just came across me today, but I've been noticing it pretty much all, all year. Mm -hmm. Is it, like – and to your point when you, we were talking about it earlier is you think that uh, it's because other people are trying to shine to get their spot because th their lineup is always moving around. and they, they, It's a lot of young guys who are looking to prove themselves as being the guy on one of these teams. Like, yeah, you got Markinen who's the all-star this year, but I'm pretty sure there are guys on that team looking like, I could be an all-star too. Jordan Clarkson. Jo like, like Because jo Jordan Clarkson last year, six men of the year, like he's on the cusp. Yeah. And then all of this stuff is happening on this team that I'm on. And it's like some nights, you know, he is the reason they're winning games. Yeah. Uh, like you said, Colin Sexton. I like, thought he was really close to making All-Star this year. And I think because he's like the de facto not starter, they don't they don't really look at him. That's how we started though? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got to shine. Yeah. Got trade with that. Um, but, yeah, they got to they gotta figure out what their full identity is. Like it can't be – the team that has marketing and these guys like it has to be this is the team this is how you play like that was come on but that was you know what they look like they look like kelly olenic shot earlier today <laughs> yeah. and it went into fucking laser razzle dazzle who's <laughs> <Good boy>. <laughs> playing college slam i'd be winning because i'd have shot it on the seven point shot and i would have been ahead <laughs> a what <laughs> college slam has like hot spots and they'll oh, be like Six, eight, nine, or one. I didn't have that. You don't deserve it. Why we play Space Jam? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Come on, bro. What was that hook? There we go. Let's go, Scott Skiles. Of Scott Skiles fame. Yeah, you don't need that. Oh my goodness. Get this shit. And then traced it. Sure. <laughs> fucking sky hook. <laughs> Bro, it was so it was such a rainbow for no reason. Yeah, look at him. Cheat ref. Look at him. Um But I do think I do I do see Utah like making making a push. Like I feel like they're gonna take somebody to seven games and it's gonna look really good and they're gonna have a lot of confidence going forward. Yeah. Um and then for some reason they make it past the first round, they're gonna get really humbled in that second round. <laughs> like I just feel like that that's yeah, just then they're of, gonna be going against Phoenix or they're, they're gonna be going against a, a monster. You uh, I would say it could be Phoenix, it could be Memphis, it could be uh Dallas. It could be oh which if they see Dallas they might have a, a chance because of their lack of defense. Oh, yeah. Shit. Come on, Skiles. You gotta you gotta get in there and contest that. Box your man in. Yeah. Um What about okay, so then I'm trying to think who who else made some big, big moves that was just more than just salary dumps? Golly, <laughs> Chris Weber. You might as well just call timeout with no timeouts left. No, I don't I don't mean that. He did that in the NCAA tournament in the finals and lost the game. Uh we talked about Lakers. Lakers made a bunch of moves. Yeah, yeah. See, like, if, if you like, that they're gonna have to go through is if Lakers. Utah runs into the Lakers, let's say second round, it's I don't think tough. they're coming out of that. That's gonna be such a hard game for them to deal with because the Lakers are gonna be on some like, you guys are young, you guys are new, like all the little, like I said, all the little tips of the trade, like they're gonna be putting that on them. Yeah. Um, 
because everybody else, I think, probably doesn't have much playoff experience except uh, what Kelly Olynyk and Jordan Clarks. Yeah, they're probably the only ones. Yeah, because Markinen and Sexton were coming from Cleveland, and we know they didn't have the year that they were there or the time that they were there. They were not a playoff contending team. Yeah. Get out of here, Muggsy Bowes. <laughs> Playing like the campaign in Matumbo. Oh shit. Muggsy Matumbo. <laughs> Muggsy Matumbo. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I really hope the Lakers get healthy, dude. Like, I just think it's it. One is good, it's for, good the league, for the game, right? To have LeBron in the finals, of course. And I'm not even a huge LeBron fan, but it's just. But you know, speaking of the Lakers, what what did you feel like you saw with when uh, Jared Vanderbilt, for example, or like in the Laker uniform anyway, like the energy he brought for them? It's good. Like, I don't understand why. I don't know what Utah, Utah's trying to do. I really don't. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I can't buy a rebound. No. Well, you over here trying to do it with, with Grandma Ma Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> Muggsy Mutombo over here. I have morning in. Yeah, but it's computer doing it. Yeah. Yeah, Chaney's big boy <laughs> Muggsy Bogues right now. <laughs> But that that's just automatic though for some reason. So you know it doesn't matter. And he's pushing people down. Two times. God, I felt it. I can smell it. Oh my goodness. Morning. I need you over here playing defense. Do you think like what do you like what's going to be the the X factor for like the Suns for example? Because I think it's not actually Durant or uh um. CP3, I think it's I think it's Aiden. Yeah. Cause we're, well, who has big men? Just the Lakers? Yeah. Like that's one well, Joker. And, 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 yeah, and, yeah. But nobody cares about Denver. Unfortunately, I just don't think that, every time it comes to the playoffs, I feel like they're just oh, you gotta be kidding me. You better not you better not make it. <sighs> you should have just threw Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> no, I was trying to get past you. Don't get past me. Just throw it up. But yeah, uh, I don't know, man. It's, it's, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. You know what? I think that's I think that's a really good point to make. That all of the moves, and we haven't even gotten to the East stuff just yet. Because people still got to mesh together. Yes. Because the, the thing is, you can get a bunch of people who should make your team much better. But one of the things, and I, I keep t- I keep telling people about this when they have these conversations with me about get this player, get that player. It's like, look, man, one of the one of the small things that ends up being a big factor on your team is chemistry. Yeah, these people, like these are people. These aren't interchangeable parts on a machine. <laughs> right. Like you have to get people that will play together well. Not only just from a well, he does this well and he does that well. Because I, I, like I said earlier, Kyrie and Luca. I don't. I, yeah, they. they Played well together so far, but I mean, it's but it's like it's like a couple of games. Yeah, like, and it's like yeah, you probably played together in All Star games. Like they're familiar with each other and stuff but like that. When Luca's down and dirty, like he yells at teammates. That's just the thing he does. And you know what Kyrie does? That's he, cool. Getting his feelings. Oh, he he's the turtle though. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing. He's, yeah, he'll get in his feelings yeah, he and just, hold it in. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out, but. Tomorrow, we're going to talk a little bit more East. We've been talking a lot about West. We're going to talk a little East tomorrow. But we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.